Hey, good evening, everybody. It's Saturday night here in Oldsmar. Sun is going down on this side of town. <laughs> I'm going to do another weather video. We did one this morning here on YouTube. We're going to do this one with Louie. We did one with Hunter this morning. This one's going to be about a cold front coming down. Can you believe it, Louie? It almost is fire pit weather here. Maybe not so much for Florida, but everybody else. We got a cold front coming. And that's what we're going to talk about. So this is my YouTube page. Make sure you like and subscribe. It means a lot. I'm trying to get the numbers up on that. Um, so here's here's the surface chart in a nutshell. These are kind of hard to read. I used to not really like them. Louis likes them. He's staring right at it. Um, <laughs> this kind of gives you a look going in the future. Uh, so we got Tuesday here, just to give you an idea. And look, we got a front Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We've been talking about lingering fronts this whole season, and, and it has to have had some influence on the tropical, uh, tropical season, but we have another lingering front that's going to last through the week, an actual cold front that's coming down uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. Let me show you that. Uh, so let me make sure we got the right time stamp. Here's tomorrow, Sunday. We're going to have more rain coming up through the Gulf of Mexico tomorrow. We've already covered that. Um, but look, as we get into Monday here, look at that. Low pressure up north is going to be spinning in some cool Arctic air. Amazing, right? We're going to get into, um, <clears throat> I believe this is Tuesday. There's our frontal line, Tuesday. Already making its way towards Florida. So, so the panhandle, you guys, I'm going to show you some temperatures here. Don't, don't run off. This is how far south it's going to get on uh, Wednesday. That's a pretty far dip in cold front. So that might be our first official. You know, we've had some through the uh, year, but look, at then it's going to linger. So unfortunately for Florida, I'm going to show you some models. We could have another rainy week. I just looked at our Oldsmar, 80%, 90% all week long. And that's because we have another linger in front. So this is a week ahead. This is a, this is a look, at, look out for the week ahead. Let's look at some temperatures. All right. So as our cold front, let me, you know, this is tropicaltidbits.com. You can almost see the spin here. If you just kind of look at the green, that's your temperature. That's where low, low pressure it's going to spin. But as we get into, let's say Tuesday, we're going to have 50s dipping all the way down to the possible Gulf Coast here, Mississippi, Alabama. Uh, we're going to have low 60s in the panhandle on Tuesday morning. This is going to last for Wednesday morning even Low 60s, possible 50s along the upper Gulf this week, Tuesday, Wednesday. We got mountains are going to be in the 40s in the uh, Appalachians, uh, Smoky Mountains. So check it out. Look at your radar apps. <laughs> and uh, it's true. Here's the uh, European <coughs> uh, water vapor loop I like to use. You can see the, the grays and browns are your dry air. And what I want to show you about this one is we're going to have that lingering front all week long. Watch what happens toward the end of the week. Another front comes down, and there's a possibility it gets a push. Push, not bush. Push. This is next weekend. We got dry air possibly into Florida. This could be another cold front setting up for the following weekend. So, quite impressive. The, uh, the only bad news is going to be this. Uh, we're going to have a lot of rain. This is your accumulated rain here for the week. Um, and let's just go to like Monday. We still got a lingering frontal line. Uh, Tuesday, lingering frontal line. It's just going to add, this is Wednesday. You can just see the, the line of rains here. We're going to have increased moisture in the atmosphere. That just means Florida, unfortunately, I don't think the cold front's going to really affect the peninsula much except for rain. But the panhandle's definitely going to experience some cooler weather. Um, so you guys can rejoice for that. Uh, and I'm jealous because i love fire pits <laughs> as you know uh, another map here let's just look at the lows just for fun we're going to go to low temperatures and we're going to go to tuesday there we go blues are 50s and like i said upper panhandle upper golf on wednesday could see possible 60s 60s possibly down in gainesville and even ocala so there you go first cold front other season, dig out them pumpkin spice lattes and uh, get wood, firewood. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Have a great Saturday. Thanks for liking and subscribing to YouTube. I'm going to do more tropical updates, obviously, but this is a special little weather update on the cold front coming next week. So have a great rest of your evening. Bye-bye.